That is incredible. That is amazing. Hey everybody, welcome to a Friday Fun Day live here on LBB TV. We already have a viral video on TikTok, a viral video on Instagram. We thought, you know what? Let's bring all our friends for a viral YouTube. Uh, awesome time here live with you guys. Oh my goodness. These are all new, by the way. You're going to see all new eggs. That's right, all new eggs. And we have a vlog that will show you tomorrow at 11 a.m. where you actually get to meet the chefs. They even did a parade today. I didn't know it was gonna happen, so luckily we had our vlogging camera. It was amazing. We came here for the treats for this new grand cottage only to be amazed by a whole Easter egg parade display, meeting the chefs, watching them actually put this all out, how they arranged it. So that was a whole artistry in itself, guys, how they arranged everything. So join us again tomorrow at 11 a.m. for a live premiere vlog where you actually get to see how this all comes together, how this is built, how they create everything. Find out the amazing answers to questions from the chefs themselves, as well as stories behind all the designs and watching them make it. And of course the parade, the parade was so cool. Hey guys, hello, it's me. Hello, Tiki, ma'am. Hello, Anne. Okay, well, let's start off with the side of the eggs. And we'll show you, of course, to the Grand Cottage. Uh, Reaper 6, never a dull moment. Another reason I have those notifications on. Another reason I have the notifications on, guys. Also, we're gonna start a funny joke about the very stern bunnies. These are very, very serious, very serious chocolate Easter bunnies. They mean business, they mean Easter business. So all of them look like they're bodyguards to, to the different uh, eggs here. And guys, we have Ashlyn. Everybody say hi to Ashlyn, guys. And Ashlyn will hop in the chat. And uh, Ashlyn, I'm excited. Nobody's really seen this before on us. I thought, of course, it's Easter. Let's celebrate when I think of Easter. I think of the Snuggly Duckling. I think of Rapunzel, all those colors um, and little chickadees you're gonna see all around here most definitely I'm so excited all right guys let's get the party started let's get the party started and Sunday keep an eye out for the next chapter in the saga of the Galactic Star Cruiser where me and Chewbacca we fight the First Order we end up doing missions we then get uh, told by the droid um, all the sneak peek information the First Order then kidnaps a bunch of people all this crazy stuff Again, you're gonna see this on Sunday. So it is a jam-packed weekend of fun. Friday fun day, Saturday, Sunday fun day. Uh, so much fun. Oh, and again, guys, if you are just joining us, we're at the Grand Floridian. And nothing better than, of course, the piano and the piano player as amazing soundtrack music today. Oh, hey, Hawk the Fam, hey, Victoria Ward, Teresa, Disney Girl. Oh, you love it? It's, it's one of my favorites, guys. I know, right? Amazing. I love this one so much. And the color. And everybody always asks if this is screen printed. All that detail, that's right, is all through screen printing. Lasts forever. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, Bibbidi bop the like button as we get started. Hey, Lori, how are you? Hey, David T. Hey, Michael. Again, another reason to have those notification buttons ready. Oh, thanks, guys. Christine, yes, and we're going to show you some more snacks. That'll be in the vlog tomorrow. That'll be in the vlog tomorrow. Hey, Goofy's great. Hey, Cindy. It does smell like chocolate heaven. I can't wait to show you. There are so many Easter eggs. So, so many Easter eggs. It is, Doc, yes. So, yeah, so for those of you asking what I'm wearing, while well, I put this down for a second. Uh, so we're gonna 
put a vlog in that's going to be a live premiere from the Galactic Star Cruiser, so stay tuned because there's so much cool things. And trust me, you want to join us tomorrow at 11 when you get to meet the actual uh, people who help make this. You get to see the Easter egg parade that I didn't know was a thing. Watch them how they put this together to displays. Watch how they put together, guys, one second, this crazy display. I really thought we were going to watch an Easter egg um, topple over. That top Easter egg with the balloons. I was like, how is that going to not fall while they were moving it? She said, imaginary magic. So you'll hear all about it tomorrow. Oh, Tiki Man fan. Well, I am here to show you the Easter eggs. <gasps> Otherwise, we would just sit here, of course, in the ideal world, and I would just watch him play. But there's Easter eggs to be seen, Tiki Man. So I will tell you. Um, we'll, of course, join him for some more fun and just listen to him play in a little bit. But I'm going to show you eggs. Oh, there you go. Sorry, Tiki Man, but it's Easter egg time if you didn't see the Canva. And you're the first to see it, guys. You're the first to see it. Hey, Ryan, how are you? See, so, yeah, when he plays again, we'll definitely hang out and ask him for requests after we check out the Easter eggs. I hope that's okay, guys. This is one of my favorites. It's even lit up like an actual TV. How cool. That's right, this is the Canine Crunchies Easter egg, the first one we're showing in detail. Look at all the babies. There's even the little little chonk chonk one. You know, he's always hungry. Mother, I'm hungry. And I love, I love seeing, you know, Lucky's in there. I mean, they really made a point to make sure that, even though there's not 101 in there, it, it's a lot of our favorites from the puppies. And look, here, we watch them actually display, these are white chocolate curls in different colors. And we watch them actually put this together. I don't know how they didn't make a mess out of it. Like, it's so perfect. I mean, I know if I was sprinkling anything, it'd be like rainbow everywhere, it's a mess. There would be no rhyme or reason as to where things, <laughs> um, where colors started, where colors stopped. But look, they even put bones. And they even put bones. Oh, M-E-B, we might, we might, we're in the process of playing with one. I know, how cute, who remembers the dog from the movie on TV? That's right, David. And then, they did an amazing job. Now, I don't remember this from past years, but they did an amazing job with all these different chocolate bunnies. The personalities on the chocolate bunnies. I mean, look at the little shy girl right here with the little Daisy. Oh, you just, you just feel her little cuteness. And then, this guy over here again he's just dapper dan dapper dan the bunny and then this little happy guy i mean they, so i don't remember these from past years type in the chat if you remember chocolate bunnies kind of all over let me know in the chat i know i know oh wait wait till you see reaper six of the stern bunnies there are stern bunnies too <laughs> serious bodyguard bunnies we'll show you hey just got disney hey mel Oh, Mel, Rolly is my spirit animal too. Always hungry. Always hungry. I know, isn't this amazing? Make sure to watch the vlog live premiere. That's right, you'll get to talk to us while we all watch at 11 tomorrow. More in depth all about these, how they made it, watching them put it together, um, as well as the Easter egg parade. It was really cool. I love this photo spot here with the annoyed husband. This is definitely Chris when I make him take that 8,000th photo. I'm like, Chris, we didn't get it right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know Chris has a five minute uh, total um, before he's like, no more pictures. But he loves video. He loves taking video. He could take video all day. Oh, Captivated Mouse, I hear you. It smells so amazing. So amazing. Now again, the detail here Look at the cute little alien green men with their little eggs. And every single chef created their own. So this one here in January was brought to the head chef as an idea and then given a yes or no on creating it. Um, so each one is actually done by the, the chefs, uh, each chef different. So, for example, here, the up house, how amazing, how cool is this? And look at Carl in the window right there. Now, 
you'll see in our vlog tomorrow, they're moving this. So how it happened is, you know, they're, they're bringing it from the outsides and they're trying to figure out where it's going to go. And they're literally moving it from one side to the other. They haven't decided. They're, they're, you know, you'll, you'll watch this whole thing go down. It's really cool. I was so concerned. I was like, how is this not? It is very heavy. That is chocolate. That is chocolate and icing. So neat. Um, but they, they manage. I, I was like, how did you guys do this? And they said Disney Imagineering Magic. I see some wiring, too, that's holding it. And then here we have another cute bunny with little glasses. Yeah, let me know in the chat, guys. Do you remember these? I don't remember these bunnies out. Now, this is different, guys. This is a bread basket. I was so confused when I saw this. I was like, oh, it smells so good like bread, but it's chocolate. I was in such awe and shock and confusion. Guys, it is actually a bread basket with rolls that made to look like eggs. I was explained that it is actually the bread uh, chef here at the Grand Floridian who wanted to add something from her crew. So that's what you see here. So it is actually bread with hidden Mickey's even. How cute is that? I know, Sandra, I feel you, girl. I feel you. And I just I just want this cute little baby bun. Look, look at her. So cute. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Jennifer Atkins. Hey, Dakota. That's right, guys. And keep on, there's so many exciting things happening at Disney. So keep an eye out for these surprise streams as we find things randomly that happen. You guys will be the first to know. You'll be the first to know. I know, right? And then these cuties, of course, Chippendale had to get in trouble, right? Had to get in trouble. And so they're fighting over eggs. We even have a surprise hidden Mickey in here. And there is an Easter egg hunt involved in this whole thing. I will bring you back for another day where we do that. Now this is one of the stern bunnies. She's, she's a serious gal, this one here. Oh, me too, Sarah. I was like, what, what a way to have a soundtrack behind me as I speak. How epic. And of course, once we're done, we'll enjoy the piano player. He's here for the night. I know, how cute. Again, little, little girl bunny over there. And of course, the Fantasia one. How amazing. I know, Firefly, isn't this incredible? Now, Firefly, this is one of my favorites. Hey, James, I would say, I think my favorite, other than the ones I'll show you in a second, like the Encanto one, Spaceship Earth, and the giant carriage, I love, love, love Snow White. Um, you'll see her jewels are lit up in there, the gems in the mine. How cool is that? And of course, Dopey's just looking at her longingly because he loves her so much. And look at all that gold, all that gold under there. Again, this is a whole chocolate house. Now, type in the chat, let's give away a shirt. Who knows what this is from? You'll see in our vlog, I was really confused. I did not know what was going on. I was like, happy Easter, Joanna. <laughs> I was like, huh? Anybody know what this is? Before we head on over to the giant Cinderella and the giant spaceship Earth and the Marvel egg and the cottage and the snacks and more. I know, Sarah Harris. Hi, how's it going? I know, aren't these amazing? Oh, somebody got it. Oh, you guys are so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, well done guys because I... <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, huh? Oh my goodness, you guys know this. Okay, I'm so proud of you. I'm not gonna, me and Ashlyn sit here for a while trying to figure out what is that. <laughs> so now I watched Rescuers Down Under a long time ago as a kid. I don't really remember, to be honest, other than that there's cute little mice. So I'll have to rewatch it. So yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> The lizard's gonna eat the egg. Oh no, don't eat the egg. Don't eat the egg. There you go, Julia. <laughs> 
So if you were missing the beginning of this stream, definitely watch the replay because I did tell you a little about how these are made. You're going to also watch more in depth in the vlog tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, but we were told that um, the chef that came up with this idea, again, each chef comes up with their own, was worried nobody would get this. And they were like, it's okay, let's do this. And they were so excited that people got it. So I can't wait for them to know that you guys got it too. Okay, let's go see one of the, I would say, most grand, grand beauties of them all. Good job, Grumpy. Yes. Now, I got to get right up close in the vlog you'll see tomorrow. I'm so excited, but you guys are pretty close right now too. We saw how they put this in and everything, and I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous. You'll see in the video, I was very concerned. Very concerned. <laughs> this was gonna topple. This is a giant Cinderella. As you can see, it is the size of a human. A giant, giant Cinderella egg. No pumpkins for her here. Uh -uh, she turned, her hair turned into an egg. But one of my favorite parts to it, as you can see, is not just the gorgeous shimmer, the gorgeous details. But wait till you see this. Oh! <laughs> How cool. Oh, Deborah, I, I'll show you the one. You haven't missed it yet, Deborah. Hey, Julie C. Hey, Rebecca Terry. Oh, yes, Emmy, it does light up. Do you see that? So I thought it was twinkling, um, just sequins. No, that those are lights. Those are lights. And then they told me that just to make the detail on the the uh, chocolate here took forever too. I mean, this is all hand carved, and even the leaves. Again, each one with that much detail, so so difficult and time consuming. I'd like to think so, Experiment 626. <laughs> now I joked, I was like, can you eat the sparkles there? They're like, no, those are, that's like actual rhinestone. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Now she said there are some rhinestones on other eggs you can actually eat that aren't, they're, they're meant to look like rhinestones, but they're not. Hey, Tom Taylor. I know, Anne, isn't the license plate amazing? How cool is this? I know, and then look at the lights. I just love the twinkling lights here. Yeah, wait till you see our TikTok that went viral. Um, but it's also gonna be on our vlog. You're gonna get to see how did they get this here? How did that, no joke, when I say they walked it, I guess there's a back stage of some sort, a bakery back there where the bathrooms are, past the piano player, way, way, way. They walked all of these, all of these, all the way here, all the way. Again, you're gonna see this in the vlog tomorrow at 11 a.m. They walked them all the way here in a parade and then poor Cinderella's carriage, not gonna lie, I was really nervous, but they did it. They did it. How amazing. And you know, this is the first time it's been back in its full glory in a couple years. And I'll be honest, in past years, if I remember correctly, they used to kind of reuse the same eggs. Like, I don't know, I would see the same design. I'm like, oh, okay. No, these are all different, except for I think like one or two. Aw, oh, thanks guys. Yes, egg, RJ, do it, RJ Bush it. Egg on the like button. Egg it on, egg it on. And look at all those twinkles. Look at all those twinkles. Uh, hey, Danny, Steve, Lori, John, isn't it beautiful? Thanks, Melissa, for bibbidi bopping the like button. Definitely bibbidi bop and egg that like button on. Egg it on. Egg it on. Okay. I'm going to show you some more. Now, this is the Alice in Wonderland one. We'll get back to that one. Now, some of them, what they did, they explained, some of them are in glass cases because of where they're uh, put. Obviously, this is a precarious spot. One wrong move with my backpack. You know me, guys. I'm like, oh, walking around, walking around. And then just go, and then there goes the egg with my backpack. So, some of them are encased for that reason. But let's get started on all these new eggs and the stern bunnies. The bunny bodyguards. That's right. Let's name him. He looks like a Rocky. Rocky the bunny bodyguard. He is protecting Stitch. 
Now, as you can see by this first one, Stitch is on a surfboard. The egg is surfing. The egg is surfing. <laughs> hey, Kaylee. Hey, hey, Deborah. Oh my goodness, so many friends here. And let me know as we're going around if you love any certain ones. As you can see, there's numbers written on here, A113. Six, does anybody recognize any numbers? Is anything specific or particular to the world of Disney? I know, of course, 626 goes with our little dear friend here. And look at the ducklings. I know Sahara is so cute, right, Michael? Um, Mel R encased. It's excellent. So, speaking of ducklings, I see, I was like, I knew the best shirt for Easter is my little duckling shirt. And of course, he has his little babies. His little babies from the movie. So, A, what does A113 stand for, Cameron? Let us know. There's a lot of numbers in here 428, 301, 012, 110. Oh, there we go, RJ. Zan likes yeah, some are Maria Prue. They they encase them, or as she said, egg case them. So how amazing is Treasure Plan? Everybody uh, first was I would say really excited about this because nobody ever sees anything Treasure Planet like ever. So this was quite a fan favor in the morning when we first got here. Oh, thanks, Anna. Oh, that's so cool, Doc B. You let us know. Do you recognize any other numbers? 428-012-110-624. We'll, we'll count as extra entries for a shirt. Now this one I wasn't sure. Do you think this is um, Princess and the Frog? Let me know guys in the chat. Do you think that's Princess and the Frog? So you can eat these, but they don't recommend it because they've been out. They might have bacteria, stuff like that from all the people. But yes, these are edible. Some of them they save. You'll see, I have seen two that were reused from past years. I know, right, Tom? Oh, awesome, Doc B. I love that you guys are so smart. Do you guys think I thought this was Princess and the Frog? Am I correct? I didn't Yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. And then, this is marvelous get it marvelous Look who it is. who's your favorite Avenger guys they even have Gru on here Captain America Hawkeye Stark Industries with Iron Man and then I'll show you the back of it when we go back to the Grand Cottage uh, to show you the treats but in the back is Rocket, that looks like he's gonna break the egg, and uh, Thor with his hammer, and I'm like, that's a terrible idea giving him an egg. Terrible idea. I know, how incredible. Again, if you're just watching this and joining us, make sure to watch the replay from the beginning for all the cool information, as well as tomorrow's vlog at 11 a.m., where you get to hear more about how this all came together, watch it actually come together, then build it. Oh my goodness, Baby Yoda even has hair. <gasps> He's got little hair. I wonder if his hair is edible. <laughs> but of course, what better egg carrier than the carrier of Grogu from the movie? Absolutely brilliant. And look what they brought. I love this. Remember his little, his little macaroons he eats that he throws up at the end? He ate too many. He goes, Bleh. I love that they have them there. And in a hidden Mickey shape. Oh, Sandra, it's awesome, right? Yeah. Oh, Ryan B. Yeah, we'll show you the cheetah. That's um, that's here, I think, year round. And a, how cute, little baby Yoda. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then, of course, Pooh's honey pot. And I love the carrots right there. And again, the colors. You should have seen them working. We watched them work, creating all these different white chocolate shapings and putting them down so that they were just perfectly with the color. So at one point the uh, chef goes, no, make sure the blue is there and the yellow to bring out the colors of that. So even the way they lay the colors down is thought out to the T to make sure it brings out the colors of the characters. Like here we have Grogu, there's the green next to him 
and the blue to offset with the color of the macaroons. I mean, really, they thought of everything. Absolutely magnificent. Now we go to the horses, the Disney horses. We got Maximus there. Oh, more Rapunzel. I'm telling you, I think this is going to be my Easter shirt. We got Maximus. We got more horses from the Disney universe, almost like an homage to uh, the Saratoga Springs uh, horse decor that they have. And then check this out in the middle and made by a Colombian chef too. So this is extra special for her is the Encanto egg. How amazing. And yes, those are lights surrounding it with the butterflies. They even have the candle here. How amazing. Let's see what we can find up close. So of course there's Mirabelle with her sister. I see of course, you know, the, the flowers at the bottom, the candle from the movie, the Casa Madrigal. I know, Michael, it is crazy pants. It is. And then of course the flowers. Now, this is only the front side. Wait till you see the back side of it. It has a whole etching in wood of the whole family together. Oh, thanks, Tom. Egg <laughs> I love it. Egg, egg Conto. This is rare. Yes, Stephanie, these are all shaved chocolates. And we watch them literally hand put them in, and you'll see it in the vlog tomorrow. It's so cool. Again, we didn't know this was going to happen. We came here for treats only to get an egg parade at 9 30 in the morning. This might be my other favorite. This changes colors constantly. We can sit here and kind of watch Spaceship Earth be extra excellent but watch those colors change like i said not only is epcot winning the 50th even when it comes to eggs it's it's winning the 50th well no, i take that back i mean that's that that's that's pretty amazing so but again epcot was like hold on uh -uh. i'm gonna show you guys i can do just as awesome um but how incredible and it actually goes I don't know if you can see it here based on the, the video screen you'll see it better in the vlog but the colors ebb and flow um, like a show and there's even a hidden Mickey right here did you guys see that spaceship egg that's right <laughs> I like that Sarah dog V I know how cool and then from the back I'll show you when we turn around it's Figment's footprint so you see him walk from the base from the back and he's like, yeah, I did that. I got in trouble. I went to the top of Spaceship Earth. Ha <laughs> ha. Beacons of magic. That's right. He's doing his own show now. Figment's like, ah, yeah. It's my party. Oh, Anna, I'm so glad you're here with us. Again, make sure to put that notifications button on because we're doing a lot of fun stuff, surprise stuff. I'm trying to give you guys heads up like tomorrow at 11 and then Sunday fun day where we're going to do the Galactic Star Cruiser. Um, saga continues. Even if you don't like Star Wars, everybody said, oh my goodness, how incredible the whole experience. And it's like watching a movie. Literally, you're watching a movie that you get to be a part of with us and crazy Disney characters. And of course, for World Showcase, they pay homage to all of our favorite countries. Now, this is my other favorite one, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? So far, type in the chat what your favorite is from what you've seen. This might be another one of my favorites. Also because we're coming out with a shirt that looks like this. Just goes to show great minds think alike. How amazing. So you have Tinkerbell doing her magic to create what Walt's vision is with the horse's famous pointer and taking the schematics and turning them in to what would become, of course, Cinderella's castle. You even have his name tag here, Walt from Marceline him there and then on the back is actually the casting agency door with Mickey which I'll show you when we turn around this one I just is so spectacular from also a heartfelt standpoint and I'm biased because we have a shirt that kind of looks like this coming out how incredible right chances mine's fit I know how cool guys there's more to come but let me know what so far is your favorite is it spaceship earth is it Encanto is it Baby Yoda watching us right over there? He's like, hey, Maria. Hey, LBBTV. Is it the giant Cinderella? I mean, I think, obviously, that's the most um, extravagant. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are making me laugh. Um, yeah, no, no. I think it just goes to show artists are artists. A lot of times artists will think similar. Um, and we're honored. Because again, how cool to see something like this. I, I, I said I love the heartfelt vibe of this. Um, Sarah loves that. I know, and I love the Snow White one with the jewels lit up. And then who has seen this? This is again the Stern Bunnies. These are the, the serious bunnies. They bodyguard the, the eggs. They got lots of jelly beans in their bag. It's heavy. So they're a little, you know, they're serious. They mean business. Look at this one looking at me, Maria. He's like, I'm watching you, Maria. I'm watching you. Dun, dun, dun. You know, like that viral video of the prairie dog that from side-eyed people, but in bunnies. So Duncan Styles, you'll see in the vlog tomorrow again more in depth, but the actual chefs here at the Grand Floridian make them, and each uh, egg is its own chef that worked on it, which is so cool. So there's a person behind it and their idea that came to life. Well, I do love the 101 Dalmatians too. Uh, Bob Shavoy, oh, so sweet. Bob, glad to have you here. Bob, also, um, I think uh, the Walt one is just meaningful, if that makes sense. There's a lot of heart into it. Yes, it may not be the most extravagant from, you know, there's not lights and stuff coming off of it, but I think the creativity of the artwork, and then wait till you see the back. Wait till you see the back. They look like the mad, yes, definitely, they're like the mad sand, they're, you know, they're just, they mean business, they gotta protect. But who has seen the Piper movie from Pixar? How cute, and look at their little, their little crap. So, yeah, again, and it smells so good in here, guys. It smells like the most incredible chocolatier company took over, and it's just everywhere, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And then check this out, <gasps> amazing. Luke, and I love the fact that, you know, you look at half of it, and of course half of it is our, our mermen, and then the other half above is them as the humans. And again, the artistry to be able to create two different levels is other level, pun intended. And then look at the little fish at the bottom. Look at the little fish at the bottom. <laughs> Crumpy. Oh my goodness. So funny. Yeah, I mean, so cool. And again, speaking of other unique Disney movies, Raya. And we met the woman who um, made Raya, and we talked to her earlier. Absolutely incredible. Um, and her story, you know, saying how some of the more um, obscure Disney Plus stuff hasn't gotten a lot of love. But she really turned Raya into a work of art. Look how gorgeous that the, the orchids there. And let's go inside. It is hollow and it goes very far back you can't see it two-dimensionally right now but it goes a good depth of I would say two three feet backwards I know right Dakota and it's really big I don't know if you can see based on it next to right the, the Luca egg is giant and then look at little tuck tuck he's a little egg naturally they didn't have to do much <laughs> but also I mean how cool um, Everything from the bamboo, the orb, uh, just all of it. And then, Bunny Bodyguard. Let's name him. I'm gonna call you, what should we call him? Let's give him a stern Bunny Bodyguard name. Everybody type in the chat your best Bunny Bodyguard name. Yeah, I really liked the Rye movie. That was, I thought it was a lot of fun, really entertaining. Uh, Figment Vision. These will be here until uh, Greek Easter, which is April 27th or I think 24th. Now, check this out. It is an egg fit for a queen. The queen of hearts, that is. Mwahaha. Oh, I like it. Biff. Oh, that's a good... <laughs> he does, he, Biff the bunny. Ooh, Bruiser the bunny. Okay, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of bodyguard ones. We got a name. Duncan, that's a good one, too. I think we should name them B names. You're right. Biff, Bruiser. These are good. <laughs> Kevin Costner has the bunny guard. Oh, I love <laughs> Guys, anybody that has put in a fun bunny bodyguard name will be entered to win a shirt. You guys have me cracking up. I know. I love it. So this is one of the Alice in Wonder. There's two of them. Um, this one, again, really magnificent, opulent. 
and just beautiful. And then I love this one. Anyone can cook, but can they really make these? No, anyone cannot make these. Anyone can cook, thank you, but Gusto, anyone cannot make these. Just throwing it out there, just throwing it out there. Um, but again, how cute, they're making ratatouille here. There's even, if you see the hidden Mickey right there in the center. Every single little detail. We have some of the characters, these little friends. But I love the fact that this is an edible chocolate book. An edible chocolate book. How cool is that? I know, and then of course a little, you know, Easter basket on top of where they put the ratatouille. And look at his little friends. How neat. And then, this little face. Again, I love how much personality they have put into the faces. I mean, look at this, like, longingly, just loving bunny. Just, I when I think of, of her right here, I think of her going, <sighs> I just, how, how many people could make artistry where the bunnies have personalities and chocolate? Just incredible, incredible. That's right, Amara, yes. I'll show you soon. We'll go there too to see the Grand Cottage. I know, isn't it cute, Kristoff? Speaking of Kristoff, so this is the frozen egg, guys. It is encased in glass in case a Maria comes by with her big backpack and goes, oh, let's go, and then goes, boom, and knocks it over. So. We saw them even place it, because originally this was not in an encasement. We have it in our blog, uncased, and they showed it, and they were like, oh, oh, we got to turn that off. Like, no, no, we got to close it up. So, we have the amazing Elsa letting it go. The horse looks terrified. <laughs> That's because he has a bad guy on his back. Bad guy. In case, in case. That's right. Hello, it's me. And then look at the trolls. How cool. And then look at Anna and Olaf. Oh, Ivy, you know, I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be better this year. I think we're going to get a party back, Ivy. I know, Deborah. I know. Everybody, so far from what you've seen, let me know. Look, see again, the side eye. He's like, I'm watching you. All right, we met Biff. We'll call you Bruiser. <laughs> the, the bunny bodyguards. And it was really cool to see them bring these out. No joke, they brought them out in like cookie sheets. I was like, what's in there? They're like bunnies. Giant bunnies were on cookie sheets. It was incredible. Again, sorry, we didn't know this was all going to happen. Otherwise, it would have been live this morning. But you'll see in our vlog tomorrow at 11 a.m. how this all, all came together. How cool. Now that is the back of the Walt Disney uh, egg. How cool. And awesome. So you can hear a little bit of what she's saying. But you got ninety eight percent edible. They have to be, even if they have the lights. I agree, Margaret. Oh yeah, we all see each other. Yeah, we do it together. I need a baby Yoda. Oh, I noticed the hair on him. So what's that made of? So I, that's actually sugar. <laughs> I was, I knew it. I was like, I bet his hair is edible. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, and I love. Oh, so cool. So hers is the baby Yoda one. So and cool, the guys. Spectrum, so. It's very nice meeting you as well. Yeah. Glad you got to see our display. Yeah. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Does anybody get to eat on the ass? No, we have a room upstairs we preserve. We do have a little mini jelly bean egg that you can eat. We do. We have. It's just a little 
this has to be at a room temperature, like an AC yeah. control, so like around 70 to 70. I know, captivated degrees. mouse. I love so that too. Isn't that beautiful? Did you see the front of it earlier, captivated mouse? Um, so far it's a while. Uh, we've had some accidents over the years. No, no, Bob, she's talking to the family. And we're getting to learn stuff. Kids asking great questions. How cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So neat. So, guys, she made the Baby Yoda one. And I'll want to ask her about the macaroons later. So cool. And look, you can actually ask for photos with the chefs themselves. And we actually talked to her earlier brief about I didn't know she made the Baby Yoda one. Again, these are the backs. So one of my favorite things about the back of this one, guys, is it's Figment's footprints. And he's going, he's climbing up the top, and he's like, hey, look what I did. <laughs> and then the back of here for the Encanto one is like their doors engraved. How cool, right? Absolutely amazing. I love that you made uh, Grogu Baby Yoda's uh, little macaroons too. And, and it's a hidden Mickey, right? Yep. So cool. Now, are there a lot of hidden Mickeys? I found one here. Almost every egg usually has some form of a hidden Mickey. Okay, so cool. Is there um, uh, something really unique people not, may not realize about these? Because we all talk about, of course, they're chocolate. Of course. Um, Wow, so, so even the food coloring yeah. so is actually, like, a cocoa. Um, the ones that are painted, especially uh, the artist actually studied in France, which I think is pretty neat. Wow. So he actually studied art and painting. Amazing. Well, you guys did such an incredible job. So, so nice. cool, so cool. Now let me show you the back of these. Oh, so cool. Oh my goodness. We got to see you bring them all out earlier. It was so neat. So cool. So here on the back, guys, is the backside of Luca and that egg, and you see them in the moonlight with the stars and the, the galaxy. And then um, the back of Raya over here. And then Alice in Wonderland, and that is the Queen of Hearts yelling at Alice. And then a hidden Pizza Planet truck, guys. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Did you guys see the Pizza Planet truck behind? So they say that in every Pixar ride, Pixar stuff, there's always a hidden Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet truck. So cool. Sorry. You're good, see? Oh, and I'll show you the treats soon. And these are the chefs that we actually met during our, our vlog earlier. They've been working really hard today. And this is the car. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I'll go this way. So we'll come back when there's less going on. There's some more to see. Okay. I know how beautiful, guys. How amazing. Oh, you know what? Let's get in line. Let's get a hot crust bun. Let's get a hot crust bun. And it's so cool. And if you are just joining us, definitely watch the replay. You're in for a treat. Also, there's going to be a lot more details with the vlog. Oh, they unencased it. Okay. So again, they get involved with everything from the artistry to it, the actual creating it, the actual baking it, the actual making it, the actual painting it. Truly just the most phenomenal team of multi-talented people, these cast members. And yes, she is the head chef here. She said she technically did not make an egg, but she oversaw them. I know, how cool to see him working. And, again, like I said, you get to see more in our vlog tomorrow at 11 a.m. But yeah, if you're just joining, definitely watch the replay. It's so cool. So cool. Now, I think, I haven't tried these yet, but I think one of the fan favorites is going to be the hot crust buns. I keep seeing them bringing them out. Um, I don't know, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. And everybody, bibbity bop the like button. Double tap. Okay guys, let's see. So, you 
see a little sneak peek. I'll tell you about what some of the amazing items are. They have a, uh, a carrot cake with fresh icing and it comes in that little loaf you see there. They also have, it's called dirt, but it's actually chocolate dark mousse with incredible um, cookie layers and cake layer. It's absolutely delicious. I would say that's one of my favorite from our vlog today. Also those giant eggs there that are reminiscent of the, um, let's see if I can find one here. Like uh, there's a lot of these uh, Victorian aesthetics of sculptures and the eggs are designed to look like that. Oh, there's a hot crust bun in there. And now how cool. Amazing. So yeah, and then there is a raspberry fudge that is delicious. And it's actually very light. It's not super heavy, which was great. Then the giant egg there is filled with jelly beans. And I walked around with one today taking pictures. It didn't break nothing. It like, it withstood Maria-ness. There's also an incredible cookie pie here. Really good, we had that earlier. Oh, and speaking of streams, guys, uh, we are going to do a live premiere vlog on Sunday Funday. Since our friends will be able to go over to Resort TV One, they're going to be going live all day and all night. Um, so uh, we'll go live doing a Galactic Star Cruiser vlog, and then we'll have more fun on Monday and Tuesday with you. Um, but definitely Tuesday, we have something special in store for you from Hollywood Studios. Oh, the hot crust buns are good. And then these are the marshmallows. And uh, I don't know if each one has a different flavor, but I was told they're amazing. We have here cupcakes, little chick cupcakes, and inside is a custard, really good. And then there are Easter egg rice krispies with white chocolate encasement. Now, the popcorn is actually cake batter popcorn. That's right, cake batter popcorn with, uh, of course, white chocolate, but also marshmallows. So good. And then this was the dirt I was telling you about with the chocolate mousse layers and the cake layers. And, oh, so good. And then this is called the Grand Basket. The only way to get this sugar cookie is to buy the whole basket. You get all of this. It acts kind of like an Easter basket gift. It's fifty dollars. We did all of that. Um, and then this is a Mickey Whoopie Pie. And what's sorry? What's the flavoring of the Whoopie Pie? French toast. <gasps> oh, we might have to get one. What do you think, guys? We might have to get one, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, that sounds amazing. Oh my goodness, okay. You know, I'm gonna get a hot crust bun and the French toast. And then again, these here, all come in different colors. Really beautiful, um, great as a gift. I don't know, how pretty, guys. How beautiful. Um, and they're very heavy because they're filled with jelly beans. Oh, I'm excited. Anything else for you? Uh, just the French toast will be pie and a hot crust bun. Perfect. Okay. One second, guys. Okay. So the whoopie pie is seven dollars. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Okay. So the whoopie pie is seven dollars. Not bad for a French toast. It looks really good. And hot crust bun was only three dollars. And you get a um, discount at all? No, okay, it was worth a shot. Yeah. It was worth a shot, just in case. You never know, guys. You never know. Okay. Any questions I can answer for you? I just want all that Ariel stuff, too. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's so cute. Jelly beans. Guys, look at this. French toast whoopie pie. Oh my goodness. Do you want to receive it all? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh my goodness. One second. <laughs> all right. Thank you. 
you. You're so very welcome. We, 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 thank you. You too. We multitask here at LVB TV. Guys, the lily pad looks awesome. These are actually two, the only two things I think we didn't try on our our vlog today. So hold on, let me. Oh, that stern bunny's looking at me. What did we name this guy? I'm watching you. <laughs> so fun. Oh, look. I just saw the back of the Yoda one. And look, you know, the little frogs he tries to eat. How funny. Uh, Logan, 11 o'clock. I love it. 100 acre woods spelled correctly. <laughs> How cool. Okay, for those of you just trying to see a lot of new people in the room, let's check out this beauty one more time. Um, Ashlyn, can you hear me? If so, I might need your help. I'm trying to carry all this stuff. We'll try these treats. These are the only two treats that we didn't try on the vlog, so we'll try them here today. Uh, let's see. I'm just putting in my bag. And thank you guys, whoever watched the other day and uh, did our Epcot stream where they entered for a Vera Bradley item. Uh, we'll be doing the giveaway next week. Um, people will get their, uh, get notified. We haven't done the, the giveaway yet for that. And isn't this beautiful? So if you're just joining us, definitely watch the replay where we were more, oh, I, I got them in. But I was thinking, well, I, do you want to try some of the treats with me? Oh, yeah, I'll have you show them real quick, the Cinderella guys. Because there's a lot of you people who have come into the chat who have not seen the Cinderella one yet, but definitely watch the replay. This is so pretty. And again, you'll get to see more of these in depth on the vlog, too. I think what's special about the vlog tomorrow is, Ashlyn, we didn't know we were going to stumble upon an egg parade. Right? Oh, yeah, we, we had no idea. We were going to watch them actually put this together. We didn't know that. We got here at 9.30 to try treats. Like yeah, any good here, Disney person. Right, yeah, right, I was right like, when it opened. I was like, I'm here for candy. And then I think the eggs were assembled mm. like at 10.30? Yeah. Probably 10.30? It was so cool, guys. For so neat. Um, and I think one of my favorite things, too, was watching them decide where they are going to put them because they kept changing them. They were like, oh, let's not put that in here. Yeah, or actually, yeah, I think this one they kept moving in. Yeah, they kept moving it. Because they weren't sure if they wanted it to be at an angle or up against the, um, the wall there. And I was so but I think nervous. it was way to see on the other side what it looked like. The other side looks just like, um, just like the side. And I thought so cool. I was so they were doing this. And it has the license plate. How cool. The one that you can actually order too from the DMV. Look at all those colors. And even the details there on the gold um, hardware. That is so cool. The wheels too are so good. Yeah, I wonder if there's any hidden Mickeys on here. I haven't seen any. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a ton. And you know, the one I haven't showed them yet is this one. Have you seen this one? So, it's Alice going to help Humpty Dumpty. Now, this was around last year. Yeah. Um, and then you have the Cheshire Cat up there being like, "Ha ha, let's throw him off the wall." Um, now, this was around last year. Oh look, he's all broken. He's all poor Humpty Dumpty. Poor Humpty Dumpty. I know, and then there's another sculpture, guys. Now this is here, I guess, year round. Did you know this? There's like a panther or a cheetah over here. Yeah, so I saw this, where is it? I was walking in, I think it's over here. Oh no, did something happen to Noel? Oh, Noel, what happened? Can somebody tell, let me know? Oh, Noel, I'm so sorry. Oh, Noel, so many hugs to you. Well, thank you for being with us here today, Noel. You are so sweet. Oh my goodness, Noel, know that we are thinking of you, okay? You have your family here anytime. Oh, Noel, guys, many hugs, many hugs. Noel, how cool is this though? This fun. I know it's pretty neat, right? It's amazing what they can make here. 
And that's all chocolate. It's like a real animal in a cage. It's good, it's good. There you go, Ram. Somebody, I know, it looked like he got into some trouble. Oh, much love to all of you guys. You guys are all so sweet. Ollie Roger and uh, Miss Disney fan, Drop D, so many wonderful people in here. ALJ, good to see you. So, you know, we'll do one quick lap one more time, but we're going to be going uh, live doing a uh, more in-depth look at all of the behind the scenes and making this tomorrow at 11, as well as a Galactic Circus. And then we're going to be back to our normal scheduled live streams in the parks on Tuesday. So keep an eye out. But definitely if you missed these, watch the replay as I was confused what this was. But she finally got her egg. That's what we learned. My other favorite one is the Snow White one. Thank you, Mickey Fuzzy Pants. And I love that it's lit up the jewels in the mine. I know, how beautiful are these? Let's go visit the Canine Crunchies one more time too. Again, we start with Canine Crunchy, so cute. And the back of it, let me show you, is Perdita and Pongo at the chapel getting married. So cute. Oh, you guys are so wonderful to each other. I love you guys in this community. We showed you guys some of the details too. Um, you know, when I look at these things, I hope they bring you some smiles and magic when you need it most. I know for me it does. And having you here means so much to me, too. Thank you guys for being the Ellie to my Carl. For being the Mr. Potato Head to my Mrs. Potato Head. The Pongo to my Perdita. And more. And then one last view. But again, how cool. This is new, the, co the Grand Cottage is a new treat spot. Before we go, we'll, we'll test the, the treats out. We'll see how it is. I think it's gonna be really good. French toast whoopie pie. I think we're in for a win. I think we're in for a win. And again, it is just worth sitting and checking all these out. All of the other um, hotels are going to have them too. So we'll bring you some more live streams from the other hotels as they bring out their versions but I always think the Grand Floridian has the home run. I know. And everybody, type in the chat. What was your favorite so far? Was it Treasure Planet? Was it the Marvel superhero one? Was it Baby Yoda? Oh, no, I'm so glad you're all here with us, Marjorie. And Noel, glad to have you with us, too. We're sending you so many hugs, so many hugs. Was it the Encanto one? Was it Figment and Spaceship Earth? Was it this beautiful one over here with Walt and the casting agency? Was it the Piper? All right, type in the chat your favorite. Was it Luca? Was it Raya? Was it the Queen of Hearts? Was it Remy's Anybody Can Cook? This little bunny with his longing face saying, <sighs> Was it the frozen one? Oh, These are so hard again. And the backsides of them. All other artistry too. Like the casting agency. Deborah loves canine crunchies. Alice says Diane. Kaylee, I feel you. Yeah, type in the chat, guys. What is your favorite? Type in the chat. What is your favorite? And you know what? Let's try. Let's try some goodies. Let's see. Uh oh. I'm not drawing the egg. Okay. So behind me is the piano player. Try. You want to try a treat with me, Ashlyn? Okay. 
there's like police protecting the eggs. <laughs> and then the piano player. So, as we finish off, it was a short but sweet, literally sweet live stream. Let's see, this is the hot crust buns. I've never had one. Hot crust buns. My daughter puts me in them all the time. I love it. She put me blogging on somewhere right now. <laughs> well, these are good. The hot crust buns are good. What's your name? Bill. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Bill. Nice to meet you, too. So my, my mouth is full and my hot crust buns. Very good. I would say this might be my favorite treat. Is that weird? Like, I don't know. Ashley's looking at me like, out of all this we ate in our vlog, um, it's really light. Not too sweet, very cinnamony. And then Ashlyn, you missed this. This is a French toast. So it's French, French toast. toast. Like flavor or? Like, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Is it butter? <laughs> okay, I like this better than the hot crust bun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but there's this problem. And there's this problem. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of coloring. Okay, very good. Wow. Oh my gosh. The bread is like a vanilla pudding. It's almost like a pudding. Guys, this is really good. Wow. Except for all the food coloring. I'm a little concerned about that. Okay. Ironically, everything we got in our vlog was good. But the two things I randomly got, I was like, yeah, let's test. since we bought everything, we didn't buy the grand basket, which is $50. I don't think it's worth it. But um, we did buy everything else except these. And in good old fashioned, the last two things we bought are the best. Um, the filling tastes like a French toast, literally like a, like a cinnamon cream. And then the, uh, the breading is like a moist uh, whipped, Vanilla pudding into a bread, like a bread, a bread pudding, a bread pudding. Yeah, so good. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, I know. I, the diabetes option. The 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 Disney the Disney D. <laughs> Blood sugar goes. You really hate work. You really. Hate work. <laughs> I was laughing. She was like, "What what is Maria doing?" Oh my god, I know, I'm so excited. I know, I have so much sugar. Let's go run around. Guys, I hope you had a lot of fun checking out the eggs. There's more fun to come tomorrow where we had the amazing surprise. We did not know it was gonna happen. We came here to just try treats and got a whole egg parade. You can see a sneak peek of it on our TikTok. You can see a sneak peek of it on Instagram, on Minnie Maria Mouse, my personal account, and more. Oh, drop DM, glad you're here. Hello. Hey, the Hearn Circle of Life. I'm Lau Yan. <laughs> A hyper moment. Hello. Guys. Oh, thanks, M. Wilson. Enjoy some beautiful piano music before we sign off. Every type in the chat. Let's see what the fan favorite was of the eggs. It would seem like it was split, like everybody had their own favorite. Ashlyn, did you have a favorite egg? I think Luca. Luca, wow. And <laughs> Bill, yes. Oh, Lisa, it's nice to meet you too. Yeah, Tiki Man, this one's for you. Momo, good to know. I did not realize that. Very good. What a what a lovely backstory to something very sweet too. Oh, pickles. The stomach the stay mosaic.
definitely Kaylee. I mean, look at that there. It's just, it's massive. with wool. Just I love the thought uh, behind it. It wasn't necessarily the most hard to make out of all of them, but it was, the, I would say, creative from a heartfelt standpoint. There was a lot of heart in that one. And I mean, how about that poor dinosaur over there? <laughs> here at the Grand Floridian, running around, getting all the egg stuff, all the treats, and meeting the chefs, uh, seeing them, how they built it, watching them uh, put it up on different um, you know, platforms, watching them bring out the chocolate bunnies, how they decorate it, so cool. So again, join us tomorrow. Oh, zoom now, oh, oh, I'm back. There we go. Join us tomorrow for more fun. You guys ready? More Easter fun. And then Sunday, Star Wars fun. But even if you don't like Star Wars, Ashley, you didn't know anything about Star Wars. No. Went on the bus. Really yeah, she said the coolest thing she's ever done at Disney. Yeah. So, lots of special moments to come. And when there is magic and we have more fun to come, there is no goodbyes. It's like what Mickey always says, guys.